Hello and welcome to computer class. How are you all students? Today we are going to learn about two important programs from Windows accessories that is Notepad and Wordpad. So let's start the class. To continue with Windows 8.1. So today we are going to learn about Notepad. So what is Notepad? Notepad is a simple text editing program. We use it to create simple text documents without pictures and special formatting effects. In Notepad, we can type, we can make a document, simple text documents. Here, we cannot add pictures and we cannot do formatting. So we can simple write simple type some documents in notepad parts of notepad window so first of all there is a window control button at the top right corner that is minimize maximize and the close button and then comes the title bar where we can see the name of the file which we have saved next menu bar where we can see file edit format view help tabs and next cursor cursor is a blinking line from where we start typing and next is a text area this whole blank area is called the text area where we type the text so these were the parts of notepad window. Now let's see one by one what are all these parts mean. First is title bar. As we have seen that it is at the top of the program. And when no name is written, so it's mentioning untitled. And when we save the file, so the file's name is displayed on the title bar. Next is window control button. It has minimize, maximize and close button, which helps us to minimize the window. We can maximize it and we can close the notepad window. Next comes menu bar. It has different command menus like file, edit, format, view, etc. And the text area, which was the blank white area where we can type and edit our text. Cursor, it's a bl small blinking line at the beginning of the text. And at this position, we can start typing it from the keyboard. An um, important point that Notepad software does not support word wrap feature. And therefore, the cursor will not automatically go to the next line. We have to press enter key so that the cursor goes to the next line. So these were the parts of the notepad. Now, we will do an activity in a notepad now where we have to type 10 sentences about my pet dog. And we have to type if we want to go to the next line, we have to press enter key. And after completing the 10 lines, we have to save the file by just clicking on file and then save option. Then a dialog box will open. We have to name the file and click on the save button. And after our work is done, we will click on close button, which will close the notepad window. So in this way, we are going to do the activity. Now this is a notepad window. So here you have to write 10 sentences on my pet dog. In the first line you can write I have a pet dog full stop and we have to, when we have to go to the next line we'll press enter key and then its name is Jack. Again, full stop and press enter key. The eyes of my 
dog are large and dark full stop enter key in this way you will keep on writing around 10 lines and at the end you can write i have in it a loving and faithful companion companion in this way you can write 10 lines about your pet dog and after finishing writing you have to save it for saving you'll go on the file tab click on it click on save and a save as dialog box will open here you can go to the folder whichever you feel like in a desktop you can save by the name which you like my pet dog and then click on save button so your file has been saved now i am complete with this so i'm going to close it by clicking on the close button next is wordpad wordpad is a simple word processing program it has more features than notepad we can format the text here we can insert the pictures as well so let's now know about the different parts of the WordPad window. So here we are having quick access toolbar that is undo, redo options. We have a title bar where the file name is displayed. We have a maximize, minimize and close button which is a windows control button. We have a different tabs like home, view, we have a ribbon in it where lots of functions are included to do the formatting. Cursor is there where we can start typing. There are different groups like paragraph group, font group. Command buttons are there to do the alignments. And there is a document area where we would be typing our document. So these were the parts of the WordPad window. And now let's do the explanation of it. Like here, the ribbon. Ribbon is a broad area below the title bar. And it has a different functions or the formatting features for the particular document. Tabs. WordPad ribbon has three tabs at its top that is file, home and view tab. Each tab has several command buttons arranged in groups and when we click on this tab the, all the command buttons will be displayed and we can click on it and do that particular function. Then comes the quick access toolbars. It has save, undo, redo options which generally we use it quite frequently. So now let's know about a firm, famous personality, N.R. Narayan Murthy. He is one of the most well-known personalities in the Indian IT sector. He is one of the co-founder of the Infosys Technology, which is one of the biggest IT company in India. And he remained chairman of the same company for 20 years. So... N. R. Narayan Murthy is one of the founder, co-founder of Infosys Technology and it is an IT, biggest IT company of India. Now let's do an activity in WordPad. In WordPad, we have to type five lines on the topic, my best friend. And to move to the next line, when we finish this first line, we have to move to the next line. We have to click enter key. And then after we finish this writing about my best friend, we have to save it. Save as dialog box will come. We'll mention the file name and then we'll click on save button. And after, after that, when our work is done, we would click on close button. So let's do the activity in WordPad. Now let's see how to work with WordPad. 
go to the search box, write WordPad there, click on it. Now as the WordPad gets open, we have to write five sentence on my best friend. My best friend. To go to the next line, we'll press enter and we can write like this. Everyone has a best friend. My best friend's name is, you can write your best friend's name and then go to the next line and you can write about his good qualities like he or she is well-mannered boy or girl enter and then you can write some other thing my friend is very helpful full stop and you can end up i like him or her very much so you can write five lines about your best friend in this way after completing it you have to save it you can see there is a save option given in the quick access toolbar click on it and it will open a save as dialog box you can just go to the desktop and you can type any name my best friend and click on save and your file is saved and after finishing it we have to close it which is on the right hand side top so just click on it and your word file will be closed students today we have done about the notepad and wordpad so you are going to practice about it in your computer. Take care. Bye students.